I'm Tina Candelo Mize, and I'm a professor of horticulture and plant science, and I'm also the discipline chair for agriculture. Mustang Acres is a two acre polyculture market farm and also an urban farm. So, what that means by polyculture is that there are multiple cropping systems within that small two acre area. It's a market farm because what's harvested will go toward a market and it's an urban farm because it's in the middle of Stockton. The long-term goals is to help address food insecurity on, uh, within our campus community. In food security efforts, there's a deficiency in fresh market food. So you get a lot of box goods, you get a lot of non-perishables, um, but there's still a deficiency in access to fresh produce in people who experience food insecurity. Part of Mustang Acres long-term goals is to help alleviate some of that. Short-term goals, we have production goals that vary by season. And so our uh, cultural practices, so basically everything we do to maintain the area are dictated by season. And the other part of our goals is to have staffing to do those activities, to, to do the cultural management uh, and to obtain those production goals. We currently have two student staff members. One's um, an intern through the Excel internship program and one is a general helper. Part of our, our fairly short-term goal is to have at least a part-time staff member dedicated to Mustang Acres. Uh, because it, it is a huge labor requirement. Most of what we do is organic production, so that requires a lot of hand, hand labor. We're working to, to have minimal waste, and so again, that's where the food pantry comes in, but then also we're going to be starting a vermicomposting program where we're going to have um, a special kind of livestock that are worms and they're going to be uh, taking any kind of you know production waste that we have and repurposing it into our their nutrient uh, dense castings and then those castings will end up back at the the mustang acre so then we're returning those nutrients back to the soil the one thing about agriculture is it's not just growing the produce there's so much more involved and there's a lot of career opportunities out there for the circular economy and, and there's a lot of workforce development that's happening in our region in that area so that'll be a really great transferable skill. So students in the program they benefit from it because they get the hands-on experience of doing edible landscaping and market gardening um, and another long-term goal is that we'll have more integration of activities between the different disciplines within ag. So I'm hoping to see ag business students, the ones who are marketing our produce, taking our subscription boxes to local staff and faculty, hoping that the ag business students will take a big role in that marketing of it. And then I'd like to see even our animal science students get involved eventually and maybe we start growing some um, poultry that will produce eggs and maybe we'll even get some honey at some point. That's kind of really big picture what I see, but essentially the ag students will get from planting all the way to marketing, all the way up the supply chain, they'll get that experience. And not just in the hand labor part of it, but a lot that goes behind the scenes. Um, crop production planning is a really huge skill to learn for students. And that's that could be a transferable skill, no matter if they're growing edible crops or greenhouse crops or nursery crops, to be able to develop a production plan and to know who your end market is and then all of the steps along the way that need to happen so you can meet your market goals. Plus, if they work here, they get to take home produce and that's always nice. And then for our campus community, for folks who can financially support the program, they'll get fresh produce through subscription box or through our market. And then for folks who maybe need a little more help with uh, food security, they'll be able to purchase fresh produce on a sliding scale. And then we'll also have it available um, at the food pantry. And then we're also working on like a work trade program where students can come out and spend a couple hours of volunteer time and then they get to take home produce. So it's not just that they're getting free produce, but then they have the opportunity to learn those skills on their own and take that home and then be able to produce from there. Come get involved with the program. <laughs>